Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to add internal JFrame in JFrame. So let us get started now. Very first, we will create one JFrame. For creating JFrame, right click on the package or source packages folder. After right click, select the new option. Under the new option, select JFrame form. In case this JFrame form option is not available here, you can click on the other. After clicking the other, in the categories, you should select Swing GUI forms. In the Swing GUI forms, now you select the JFrame. After selecting the JFrame form, click on the next button. Now give the name to the JFrame. For example, I am giving name my JFrame. After specifying the class name, click on the finish button. JFrame is created for you. Now if you want to resize it, you can. After resizing the JFrame, I want to open one internal frame in this JFrame and that I want to do on the menu item click. So first I need to make the menu here. For that purpose, from the swing menus window, I need to select the menu bar. This menu bar should be dropped on this J frame. After dropping this menu bar, now suppose I want to make one menu item under this file menu. So select the menu item from this window and drop it on the file menu. Next, if you want to change its title, you can for that purpose right click on that menu item select the edit text and name it any suppose i am giving add after renaming the menu item you need to create the j internal frame for creating the j internal frame again you right click on the package after right click select the new option under the new option you select the J internal frame form. In case the J internal frame form is not available here, you select the other option. After selecting the other option, one window is shown to you. In this window, you can select the swing GUI forms. After selecting the swing GUI forms, you select J internal frame form. Then click the next button. Now name the internal frame. Suppose I am naming it. Add J internal frame. After specifying the name, click on the finish button. Then if you want, you can resize this internal frame. Now you need to change some of the properties of this internal frame. For that purpose, make sure that the J internal frame is selected. After selecting the J internal frame, you should select the properties. Now in the properties, first you need to change the closable property. Here the closable should be checked. So click on this checkbox. Then next property I want to change is title. Give the title to this J internal frame. Suppose I am giving title add frame. Now next some more properties can be changed over here. And those properties are selected. Check the selected property next visible check the visible property after making these changes save the j internal frame after saving it this internal frame i want to open in the frame that is created earlier so now you select the my j frame the frame that is created earlier on the add menu item click i want to open that j internal frame here for that purpose i need to include the action event and to include the action event, right click on the menu item, select the events, under the events action and action perform should be selected. After selecting it, the NetBeans will show you the method in which you should write the code to open the J internal frame. Here you write down the code in which first you need to create the J internal frame object. So for that purpose I am writing add j internal frame the j frame we created
after creating the object of internal frame that we created you call the add method and in the add method give the object of the internal frame now this is what you should do to open the internal frame in the j frame now let us test it is working properly or not for that purpose right click on the j frame that is created by you select the run file and then select file in the file click on the add button when you click the add button you can see here the internal frame is open you just look here and this is in the closeable one if you want to close you can close it again if you want to open click on the file click add button look here the internal frame is open in the j frame now close it okay now close the j frame in this way we can create a j frame and we can open the internal j frame in the j frame that we created here thanks for watching this video